night everyone. I just fueled up at the pilot. That's too dark. Maybe I can leave that on. I just fueled up at the pilot. I'm at uh, Love's here in Virginia, exit one, off of 77. And uh, I just want to see what the truck do going up Fancy Gap, fully loaded. Grossing about 79, 500. Just put on about uh, 173 gallons of fuel and topped off the DEF fluid. And uh, I'm, I'm impressed on how well this transmission handles in steep terrain. You know, uh, it doesn't let the engine fall against the transmission like on you know sloshing. Like I said, this truck. I pull tankers and it doesn't let it fall against the transmission beating you around and steady learning which is still amazing to me like here it is you in the mountains so it's uh it's, it's definitely steep terrain and uh the truck's got about 49 158 on it let's say mile wise it's about 33 degrees out there. The truck's got a snowflake up there saying be careful. The temperature is low enough for freezing. Which is, you know, it's telling you, okay, be careful. There may be ice out there. Which it had not been raining or anything, so the roads are pretty clear. No snow. But, uh, if you ever been in this pilot or up Fancy Gap. Fancy Gap is when you cross out of North Carolina going north on 77. And you're going into Virginia. Well, that's about, it's an eight mile pull. I'm, that's where I'm at. I'm coming out of the Loves and I'm going up this eight mile pool. Uh, and I just want to show what the truck will do. Loaded, pulling a steep grade. It doesn't ever, I hadn't seen it reach a over temp. Hell, I don't think I can hear the fan when it comes on, if it does get enough. You know, I know it gets a temp, but I never heard it. You know, the fan just screams. This truck's so quiet. Uh, second good thing about a truck that I, I'd like you guys to remember is this. Jake brakes are detrimental when you're pulling liquid, heavy weights through mountains. Because your brakes... They do a good job, but a Jake brake is, is detrimental. And on this truck, the Jake brakes are amazing. You 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 very seldom have to touch your brakes. And like I said, I run I run up here. This is my second load this week, and I got to come up through fancy gap. And I just put it in performance mode. And uh, I'm I'm on the grade pulling up exit one. And like I said, this is an eight mile pull, and I'm coming from a dead stop off get on ramp. Truck. Let's see what she does. And uh, as far as Jake's brakes go, I can set the cruise in this truck on 77 in the steepest grades. I put it on about medium. Set my cruise about 72. That's so it'll pull the next grade up. Jake brake will kick on at about 76 or 75. And then, after that, that those uh, Jake brakes work awesome on this truck. And, you know, i see seen a lot of drivers, you know, you get hurt when you drive, your truck ain't got Jake brakes on them, and they, they're not that good. They won't hold the truck back. But these uh, these Jake brakes on this, on this Mac are, are, are really good. So I'm just getting going here. Starting upgrade, which is it's uphill all the way out of the fuel aisle of the loves. I'm at 42 in uh, ninth gear, 43 in climbing. So we got a high wind advisory up here. High profile vehicle, so that means the wind's blowing pretty hard up at the top of the mountains. So. I don't like to drive and be uh, distracted. So 
but I just wanted to show you guys what this truck will do. It's steady picking up speed. We're on the steepest part of the climb here now. It's at 45. And it's turning about 1700 RPM. about 38 pounds. Trans temp is about 172. The exhaust temp is at about 650. It ain't working hard, you know, and it's using the transmission. They say I came from a standstill going up this grade. That's that's pretty good. It's at 45 miles an hour and holding. And I'm trying not to get too close to the back of this truck in front of me. You don't want to go past these guys. They're blocking up the lanes. You know, you don't want to... I don't like to get too close to people. You know, you might have to change lanes or something. But, uh... This is Fancy Gap. Like I said, I think you, you level off at mile marker. Sometimes I don't like to do that because you don't want to hold up a lane when you're trying to pass. And if you guys just empty trying to go by, you don't want to be out there trying to struggle and go by a truck. So you, you pretty much just stay in the right lane unless you just ain't got no choice. You know, so trucks is 40, 45, and I've seen it work. <laughs> uh, she pretty much grossed out, so to say she grossed out, it's a good indication. I got it back out. So I could probably run about 48 to 50 going up fancy again with a full load. And I say this guy's in front of me and I don't want to lock up traffic, so I had a back out of it. it, it go so anyway, that's it. Cut this camera off. I don't want to be distracted.